Hey there. Um, tonight on election night, um, I need a beer and uh, I chose um, Free Wheel Brewing Company, which is in Redwood City, California, Revolution Scotch Ale, um, which seemed appropriate for the evening. Um, this is an English style ale, 6% um, alcohol by volume. A lot of people complain uh, about English style eels because they tend to be more, I get uh, less carbonated, I guess. And, um, you know, but I'm really into the English style eels a lot. I really like English hops. Um, so that's never a downfall, um, a downside to me, I feel like. Um, but, um, everybody else is always very shocked by it. So, uh, anyway, we're going to drink Revolution Scotch in hopes that, um, things go, Anyway, I guess we don't need commentary on politics on the beer channel. So, anyway, Revolution Scotch. Um, all right, aroma. Mmm. Nice roasty malt in this. Um, mmm. Crisp and clean. It has, um... Almost, um, um, oh, I can't even, I can't even really think straight. I'm trying not to think about election related things, but instead I'm thinking about election related things instead of this beer. Okay. Um, color wise, it's this beautiful brown, um, and it's pretty opaque. Like I said, it didn't pour very heady. This is a little, um, less carbonated than our American pellets are, are used to. Um, let's drink this. This is good. I recently did a, um, a malt uh, webinar where I tasted all these different malt styles, and um, I'm not going to think of their names off the top of my head. Anyway, you know, the roasty, toasty malt, um, not crystal, but um, maybe it's just called roasty malt. Maybe it's called black malt. I don't know. Anyway, not black because black is pretty pretty intense. Anyway, um, tastes almost exactly like that. It's like this beautiful, like rich grain that has these toasty notes to it. Makes me think of, um, bread crust. Um, and I love a nice crusty, like sourdough, chewy bread crust. Um, <laughs> and my phrase bread crust makes my son think of pie crust. Um, similar, I suppose, but, um, anyway, um, Anyway, so nice toasty notes. It reminds me a lot of uh, an American brown ale, but a little bit less um, toasty. I don't think dog treats smell as good as pie beer. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I got distracted by dog treats and this election. All right. Mm. Nice, um, kind of heavy body, um, and a thickness almost to it, uh, very low carbonation, just a little bit, like a little bit, um, in the back, um, as you swish it around, um, really nice finish, and the finish really, um, focuses on that kind of toasty bread crust flavor as well, um, really quite delicious, I really love scotch ales, um, a lot. It's probably one of my favorite styles and brown ales, um, and, uh, English style, uh, IPAs, um, you know, so at Hopsy, if it has this little English style tag on it, I'm like, hey, sign me up. That sounds great. Uh, and again, you know, this was no disappointment. I'm pretty sure that I haven't done a review on this before, um, but, and I asked them actually to look and see if I had bought it at Hopsy, but, and they said no. So, but I feel like it seems likely that I did. Anyway, I guess I'll post it because it was something to do um, with my election night anxiety. Um, anyway, great beer. Free Will puts out some really great stuff. Um, and cheers. Cheers to the revolution. All right. Um, there you have it. Free Will Scotch, Free Wheel Brewing Company Scotch 
Revolution Scotch Ale, 6% alcohol by volume. Um, and happy election night to you. Uh, take care.